Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at doing our third drawing in Autodesk Inventor. Uh, this is going to be the pipe bracket 3D-03. So hopefully you have either the PDF drawing up or you have it printed out that you can look at the dimensions as we go. And I'm going to go ahead and draw this in Inventor just as a demonstration in case you're looking for help on how to do it. So we have Inventor open. We're going to click a new part file. <clears throat> and I'm going to start by drawing the base of the pipe bracket first. So the base is three inches. by two inches here and down in the bottom it's coming out three inches. We're then going to come up here for now. I'm just going to kind of draw that. I'll dimension it in a moment. I'm going to put a fillet between those two of a quarter inch <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and dimension where that point is. And that's four and one and three eighths. And that's the main face. So we can go ahead and finish and extrude. The thickness according to the print is a quarter inch, 0.25. There's the main base. Now we're going to have to draw some stuff on top of this. So I'm going to start with the pipes. So I'm going to sketch on the top. I'm going to draw my main circle. The big one has a diameter of 2, and it is located to each edge 1.5 inches. Finish. Extrude that um, 2 inches tall. Now I'm going to start putting the holes in it. So we got one cavity or counter bore that comes into here. That counter bore has a diameter of 1.5. Finish. And it is a cut of 0.375 or 3 eighths of an inch. Now I'm going to sketch down in that cavity for my hole. The hole is 1 and 1 eighth. And it goes all the way through. So cut through all. <clears throat> so that's the easy stuff so far. Next we're going to have this piece that sticks out. And we're going to need to do a work plane similar to a work plane we did on the base plate, kind of out in space. So I'm going to have to get my base work plane started. So I'm going to use a work axis around the pipe to get a work axis right through the middle of the part. I'm going to click on work plane. I'm going to click on the work axis. And when I hover different places, I get different angled work planes. Well, I want a work plane like that. So I'm going to click on the surface, enter. And now I'm going to use work plane again. I'm going to drag that forward 1.5 inches. So now I can sketch on that work plane. I like to do slice graphics anytime I'm sketching in space. So right click slice graphics just gets rid of the stuff in front of it. I need to project geometry to get just a couple dimensions here. Need those. And I'm going to start by drawing uh, the main body, which is one by one. And I'm going to center that on the main tube, 0.5. I'm then going to draw the arch, which is just a circle. <clears throat> and I can go ahead and finish that and extrude it. So I'll extrude that, that, and that. I'm going to send it the other way. 
And instead of giving it a distance, I'm going to select 2 right here. And I'm going to say extrude it to this face. And you'll see it sends it perfectly to that surface. I no longer need the work planes turned on, so I'm going to come in here and visibility, visibility, visibility. So they're still existing, but I just don't need to see them. All right, we're going to sketch here and draw our circle, our hole, right on this center point. That hole is 0.5, extrude, cut, and I'm going to go to the top view to make sure I get deep enough here. So one inch is probably not deep enough, uh, but 1.25 gets into the hole. Okay. And now I just need to put my fillets and circles back over here. So I'm going to do fillet of a quarter inch on this vertical surface. And that surface. Apply. And then I'm going to put some circles in there which I could actually do the whole command or I can sketch and draw circles. I'll do the whole command, that's new. Whole command. I want to put it on this surface in conjunction with this arc. And it is 0.3 diameter. Depth is through all. And OK. And then I'm going to do it again to those two, 0.3 and OK. And I gotta put one up here. Hole. Somewhere up here to this circle, 0.3, and okay. And that right there is our pipe bracket completed. You should be saving this along the way as 3D-03 pipe bracket. And hopefully it looks similar to this. So I'll upload this video so that you have this as a demonstration. Good luck.